This is Brent with a Grow Shop Tech Tip. Today we will be discussing how brushless DC motors commutate. We will focus on why connected brushless DC motor, or the BLDC motor for short. Utilizing three hall switches as feedback devices, while different devices can be used for feedback like resolvers or encoders, hall switches are the simplest. We have developed the timing diagram we will be using today to help you understand the commutation of our motors. Notice that the scale of the chart is in electrical degrees. Electrical degrees are based upon the number of poles in a BLDC motor. If the motor has two poles, one north and one south, 360 degrees electrical would be equal to 360 degrees mechanical. If the motor had four poles, 360 degrees electrical would be 180 degrees mechanical and so on. We have chosen to represent our timing diagram in two different ways. The first shows a pictorial view of the commutation sequence. The second shows more of a binary type sequence. Both diagrams show the same sequence but the engineers can choose which style they prefer. The purpose of the hall switches is to tell the motor control the position of the rotor by interpreting the on-off state of the switches. If a hall switch has a north pole in front of it, it will turn on. If it has a south pole in front of it, it will turn on. With only six different states per electrical cycle, the feedback is a little coarse. However, for most applications that run above 600 RPM on a four pole motor, this will be just fine. Commutation is done by determining the angular position and then applying current to the stator which creates a magnetic field that attracts the rotor to a new position. For instance, if the rotor is in the position shown at the beginning of the timing diagram, the hall switches would read 1 on, 2 off, and 3 on. The motor control interpreting this would allow current to flow into phase 1 and current would return to the control through phase 2. This would cause the rotor to rotate and the state of the hall switches would change to one on, two off, three off. Current would still flow into phase one, but instead it would return through phase three. This sequence would continue through the next four states and then start again at the first, giving us constant rotation. After each six steps, the motor will have rotated 360 electrical degrees. The timing diagram is important because not all motor and drive manufacturers label their switches and faces the same. By matching up the sequences of two data sheets, engineers are able to correctly determine the connection of the motor to the drive. However, if you purchase a motor control solution from Grow Shop, the motor lead designations will match the control, and you will not need to worry about sorting out supplier timing diagrams. This has been a Grow Shop Tech Tip. For more information about any of our products or to view other tech tips, please visit us online at www.growshop.com.